All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. We are here with day two of our state bracket. As you can see, Gates of Olympus versus Doghouse Megaways. And yes, the previous video, Gates of Olympus came out on top, but not by much, only by at the slimmest of margins, about a thousand coins. Today, we're going to put up Gems Bonanza versus Fruit Party. Let's go ahead and jump over to Gems Bonanza here. We're going to do four 4,000 coin buys on each one of them. Once again, whichever one ends up with the most coins at the end of the four buys over the 16,000 that I started with. The uh, that, that game is moving on to the next round and will survive. The next one goes into the loser's realm, only to be played again at some point in the future uh, because most of these are games that would play normally. Go ahead and jump right into this one here. We are using the gold coins we get signing up over at stake.us. There is a link in the description down below as always. Let's go ahead and start off with Gems Banana here. See if we can get some good hits. I mean, green would be okay. Orange as well would be good. That was orange that went through. That was a really good connection there. We're not. Oh, holy cow! Sorry about that. If you're not familiar with how the game works, we got these little mini games over on the right. There, we're trying to fill up that orange circle uh, over on the right last little mini bonus here that's not going to be enough to get it done that was a real shame to waste the start that it came with another couple of tumbles would have been the deal there i apologize for what just happened a second ago that was me hitting the wrong button on my mouse i keep forgetting the little button on the left side of my mouse it makes me go back a screen uh so that's what that was but thankfully the uh, website here goes ahead and continues you from where you were before anyhow uh gems bonanza did not do real well on the very first grouping there uh this really is a absolutely hit or miss uh game it's just not one of those ones where it's consistently mediocre really need to get into the next levels the times fours the times sixes in order to really have a chance for this one to move on here we're two games in so far and we're at 11,068 means we've won about 3,000 coins between two bonus buys which is terrible uh we're gonna go ahead and do the last two here we're gonna blow the whole screen up start over again we're looking for maybe uh pink i guess that was okay too oh that that definitely dropped in a nice tumble there so that that's a nice bonus uh squares is usually what stops us but that's a nice hit on squares uh, generally the squares bonus is the one that absolutely uh, does terrible and stops us from getting on to the next level here so colossal symbol is not a huge symbol it's in the bottom left corner which doesn't really help us out lucky while is going to do a little bit of work here that is more than enough to get us into the times four realm here so we are finally going to move on to the next level which is nice to see also nice to see all of you here watching the video with me here do appreciate you coming and hanging out We're probably looking for purple on this one pink would be okay um there's a couple of good choices in here that was definitely a good choice that got us part of the way we got some tumbles falling in nicely as well squares uh atypically not not bad that's been two decent squares in a row on this bonus buy so nice to see regular size colossal symbol up there in the corner again lucky walls just has to do some that's not going to work at all it didn't do anything at all but 5248 is a profit buy uh, which is the first one of the three here this is our last chance to get in here one more bonus to go then we'll go over to fruit party and we'll see what we can do again it's just a matter of which game ends up with the most amount of coins at the end of the four buys that's all it is just straight up which one has more so really gonna need wow that's an 8,000 coin hit here from gems bonanza may not be enough to get us to the next round but that will certainly help with the final numbers lucky wilds doing work yeah i know you a lot more work than that they can have to tumble several times to get through but that is not going to happen here but a nice win there at 91 96 puts us to 17,512 total a little bit over where we started so we uh, more or less broke even actually ended up a 1512 over so i'm going to write down 17 5, 12 real quick i'm going to swap over to the other game and i will be back once again with a fresh 16,000 coins 
to play Fruit Party. All right, we are back over here on Fruit Party. As you can see, we have 16,000 coins ready to go. Go ahead and do 4,000 coins here to be able to get off on our first bonus buy. These uh, games are much different from each other. Uh, they don't necessarily function in the same way. Very little functions in the way the Gems Bonanza does. Uh, so it would have been hard to find a matchup that was similar anyhow. Uh, Fruit Party is very, very simple. The symbols come down, five or more make a connection, and they should have multipliers on them if they have a, a connection of five or more. You'll be up to a 256, 256 X total multiplier in any one group of symbols. And uh, each spin is independent of each other, so one good spin can absolutely save the bonus. Down to our last two spins, however, this bonus needs some saving. Doesn't look like it's gonna get it. Oranges, nice to see down there. A little bit uh, too little too late. We'll take what it can get from it, however. 714 coins, much like I said on Gems Bonanza. This one is absolutely hit or miss. It's a very toxic game, uh, much like Gems Bonanza is. So bonus number two here, not looking good so far with uh, less than a thousand coming back on the first bonus buy there. Fruit Party, however, can surprise you. Like I said, all, all it takes is one really good spin and one group of connections and that's it. It's all over for everybody else playing against it. But really, it's just absolutely more the luck of the draw in this one than anything else there we go hit a strawberry strawberries is the top symbol uh if i'm not mistaken yep sure is strawberries and oranges and we have been saved in the past by apples so uh, that is not an unusual thing for us to see drop in there already much better than the first bonus buy but it's gonna have to be even better than this if it really wants a chance at moving on What it really takes is just what happened there. It takes a bunch of really good tumbles together and multipliers to pop up at the same time. Last two spins. And the final spin. 1374 coming back on that second one. We get two left to go here. As of right now, it is not looking good. Gems Bananza did not exactly have what you would call a stellar uh, turnout with its just barely breaking even but it might just be enough grapes there we go we get some decent grapes there with a halfway decent multiplier just needed a lot more of them need more than, than times two's pop-ups here there we go there's 1600 just from the oranges there that's a, that's a nice little hit we're gonna need a bunch of those doesn't have to happen all at once and you can, of course, re-trigger in this game, but if you've watched this game before when I've played, it is very unusual for a re-trigger to happen on this. There you go. There's a 256x multiplier on the stars there. That's good for 2656. That puts this one into a profit buy. Fruit Party doesn't want to be out outdone easily, apparently. It's not going down without a fight here. Last two spins. Another hit there on the apples, another 64X coming in there. 1,286,154. Puts us at 12,242 going into the final buy. So we're gonna need about a, a 9,000 coin win here in order for this one to overtake, a little over 9,000 coins to overtake the, uh, the Gems Bonanza. So I hope you are all enjoying these games here. I know I'm having fun doing the head-to-head -head. Uh, I know it sounded a little awkward while I'm doing it. I've never done it in this format before, more than once or twice. So uh, I'm still learning how to talk my way through these. So bear with me. I'm just sort of going to ramble. Uh, probably most of the videos is just going to be me rambling on in the background while the game goes on. Three spins left to go. That's a lot of apples, but and that could have been great if they had a bunch of multipliers pop up. That would have been enough to put it over the top. I hope you are all enjoying the videos here. I hope you're enjoying. I want you to leave a comment down below. Once again, let me know who you think, <coughs> excuse me, who you think is going to win the whole tournament. Uh, again, nice hit on the apples there. The apples are sort of saving us, but it's going to have to do a little bit more work. Last spin. 
Last spin's a dead spin. 32.56. Put up a good fight. 11,498 versus the 17,512 from Gems Bonanza. Gems Bonanza is moving on to the next round. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second. Hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you all in the next round.